When I was in high school, I watched the movie, The Rocket Man. And uh, the movie was about a man who had a rocket and he was able to fly. And I thought that was brilliant. I wanted to be able to do that. So I draw my mini rocket and I take it to my physics teacher thinking he's gonna give me some ideas and help me build the rocket. He takes one look at the paper and says, it's impossible. There's an African proverb that says, a child must be seen and not heard. Now, when you're female, that's even worse. In Africa, women are expected to marry and produce children. Their role is defined. You're supposed to stay in the home. So for me, when I chose male-dominated courses, I was always discouraged. I was told, it is impossible to build a robot. Girls don't study technology. Girls don't do science. And I wouldn't be successful. And for women, I feel, first you have to break over the confidence. Like you have to be able to be confident and go for what you want. And you're always gonna have a lot of naysayers, especially when you're trying to break the mold or step out of convention. You're always gonna have people being negative, people trying to bring you down. But if you believe and you're passionate in what you're doing, you just go for it. My story about global development is being restricted as an African woman in technology and now being able to start a company that allows young children to be able to create technology and use it to solve local problems. I am very hopeful because I believe in the ingenuity of the people and I believe that the younger generation or the Generation X, which is a technology generation, really wants to bring about change and is doing what they can to be change makers.